Good day, students. My name is Talabi Omoni Julius. I'll be teaching you mathematics. Our topic for today is integration, part two, a subtopic of calculus. Learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to A. Recognize some standard integrals. B. Integrate some functions using 1. Substitution method. 2. Integration by path. 3. Partial fractions. Standard integrals. Some derivatives and their corresponding integrals. A. The x raised power n dx is equal to n x raised to power n minus 1. Therefore, integral of x raised to power n dx is equal to x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. B, the ax raised to power n dx is equal to a n x raised to power n minus 1. Therefore, integral of a x raised to power n with respect to x is equal to a x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. c the lin x raised to power n dx is equal to 1 over x. Therefore, integral of 1 over x with respect to x is equal to lin x plus c. d, the exponential x dx is equal to exponential x. Therefore, integral of exponential x with respect to x is equal to exponential x plus c. e, the exponential a x dx is equal to a exponential x. Therefore, integral exponential a x dx is equal to 1 over a exponential a x plus c. Trigonometry functions. A. Integral of sine x with respect to x is equal to minus cos x plus c. B. Integral of sine ax with respect to x is equal to minus 1 over a cos ax plus c. C. Integral of cos x dx is equal to sine x plus c. D. Integral of cos ax with respect to x is equal to 1 over a sine ax plus c. E. Integral of sec square x dx is equal to tan x plus c. F. Integral of sec square ax with respect to x is equal to 1 over a tan ax plus c. G. Integral of cosec square x with respect to x is equal to minus cot x plus c. H. Integral of cosec square ax with respect to x is equal to minus 1 over a cot ax plus c. Some techniques of integration. There are some functions to be integrated that are not in the standard form. Hence, there are three techniques that can be applied to integrate some of them. Namely, 1. Integration by substitution. 2. Integration by path. And 3. Integration by partial fractions.
Welcome back. Integration by substitution. This is also known as change of variable. Since this method involves transforming an integral with respect to one variable, say x into integral with respect to a related variable, say u, which can easily be integrated. Example 1. Find the integration of 3x minus 7 all raised to power 5 with respect to x. Solution. Let u be equal to 3x minus 7. Then du dx is equal to 3. So dx is equal to du over 3. Therefore, integral of 3x minus 7 all raised to the power of 5 dx is equal to integral of u raised to the power of 5 du over 3. 1 over 3 integral of u raised to the power of 5 du is equals to 1 over 3 in bracket u raised to the power 6 over 6 plus c is equals to u raised to the power 6 over 18 plus c. Replacing u by 3x minus 7, we have 3x minus 7 all raised to the power 6 all over 18 plus c. Example 2. Find the integration sine 2x minus 5 with respect to x. Solution. Let u be equal to 2x minus 5. Then du dx is equal to 2. So dx is equal to du over 2. Therefore, integral of sine 2x minus 5 with respect to x is equal to integral of sine u du over 2. 1 over 2 integral of sine u du is equal to minus 1 over 2 cos u plus c. Substituting u is equal to 2x minus 5. Back into the solution, we have minus 1 over 2 cos brackets open 2x minus 5 bracket close plus c. Example 3. Find the integral of x squared into bracket 2x cubed plus 3 all raised to the power 5 with respect to x. Solution. Let u be equal to 2x cubed plus 3. Then du dx is equal to 6x squared. So dx is equal to du over 6x squared. Therefore, integral of x squared into bracket 2x cubed plus 3 all raised to the power 5 becomes integral of x squared u raised to the power 5 du over 6x squared. The x squared cancelled out. Therefore, we have 1 over 6, the constant integral u raised to the power 5 du which is equal to 1 over 6 into bracket u raised to the power 6 over 6 plus c u raised to the power 6 over 36 plus c replacing u 
by 2x cubed plus 3. We have 2x cubed plus 3. All raised to power 6. All over 36 plus c. Welcome back. Integration by parts. In some cases, we may not be able to integrate a complicated function by method of substitution. If the integral is a product, we can use integration by parts. Let u v be a product of two functions, u and v, with respect to x. Recall that in differentiating, we have the u v dx is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. Integrating each side with respect to x, we have integral of the u v dx with respect to x is equal to integral of u dv dx with respect to x plus integral of v du dx with respect to x. Therefore, we have u v is equal to integral of u dv dx with respect to x plus integral of v du dx with respect to x, which gives us u v is equal to integral of u dv plus integral of v du. Rearranging the above, we have integral of u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du. This is known as integration by parts formula. Example 4. Find the integral of 2x cos x with respect to x. Solution. Let u be 2x. Then du dx is equal to 2. So du is equal to 2 dx dv is equal to cos x dx. Therefore, integral of dv is equal to integral of cos x dx. Hence, v is equal to sine x. Substituting into the formula, integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. We have integral of 2x cos x dx is equal to 2x sine x minus integral of sine x into bracket 2 dx is equal to 2x sine x minus 2 integral of sine x dx is equal to 2x sine x minus 2 into bracket minus cos x bracket close plus c is equal to 2x sine x plus 2 cos x plus c. This has brought us to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. At this point, I will encourage you to go through all what we have been doing from the beginning of the class. Right from standard integral to trigonometry function. Thank you. Assignment. Find the following integrations. 1. Integral of 6x minus 7 all raised to power 4. 2. Integral of 5x over x squared minus 3. 3. Integral of x squared sine 
X. Thank you. God bless you. Goodbye.